Hello guys and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to understand milestones and estimated task. Now what are milestone tasks? The task for which the duration is zero or under the milestone field, it is marked as yes. These kind of tasks are known as the milestone task. And moving on with the next one, estimated task. The estimated tasks are those tasks for which the duration is unknown. Now, if you have seen in our project screen, sometimes under the duration column, you see a question mark. So what are this question mark? We'll try to understand this in our practical approach. In this video, we are going to talk about milestones and estimated tasks in Microsoft Project 2013. Now, let me start with milestones. What are milestones? If I move on the right hand side of my screen, there you can find a small little black diamond. This is representing a milestone. A milestone can be seen after completion of every project. I can also give a milestone after completion of a task as well. How I do that? It's quite simple. So let me go to the particular task I will right click on this particular task and I say insert task so this task says completion of planning phase all right I have given it a name I hit enter now if you see it is manually schedule let me make it auto schedule I'll go to this drop down box under task mode and I'll click on auto schedule now if you see rest of the blocks automatically gets populated and out here I can see the duration as one day. Now usually the completion phase is always represented by zero days. So I'll make it zero days and I hit enter. So now if you see there is a milestone which can be seen on the right hand side of my screen in the Gantt chart representing by a small little diamond. Alright, it is black in color in all the versions. So this is how a milestone can be seen. The another way of uh, getting the milestone in the Gantt chart is if I go, let's take the milestone for correction of errors. So basically I'm giving a milestone after completion of correction of errors. So wh what I have to do, I have to just double click on that particular task. A window will appear in front of you guys which has different options in it. I have to move to the advanced option and in this advanced option I see mark task as milestone. If I click on this checkbox and if I hit OK let's see what happens. So I'm at correction on errors. I have double clicked. I have this task information. I have marked the task as milestone. Let me hit OK. The moment I hit OK do you see there is a small black diamond which is representing the task as correction of errors and it is has given it a milestone. Let's move to the next part that is estimated task. Now what is estimated task? It is the task for which the duration is unknown. You must have seen in our previous videos sometimes the duration has some question mark along with it. That means that duration of that particular task is not defined. So that's the reason it shows me the question mark. So if I want a task to be as estimated task for which the duration is not known, I can do it manually by just going to that particular task and I'll go to the duration tab. I'll say it is three days and I'll just type the question mark. I hit enter. Now it says three days with a question mark. Right. So for duration for this task is unknown. Similarly, the changes can be is being applied to the execute task as well as execute task is the sub task or it is the main task for this two sub task. So the duration as the duration for deliveries is not defined. The duration for execute is also undefined in order to get the duration right. I have to remove this question mark. Now if I hit enter, now if you see the duration is being defined properly. Now this is the one way of creating estimated task. The another way of creating this estimated task is if I double click on any of the value or if I double click on any of the task and if I move to the advanced tab, there's something called as duration and there's a check checkbox which says estimated. Now if I click on this checkbox, it gives me the question mark again. Now let's hit OK, see what happens. 
I get the same results. Now I have question mark in my deliveries task and I have question mark with the execute task as well. Now if you see my execute task is completely dependent on these two tasks. So unless and until I define the task my execute dura execute duration will not be defined. So if in order to if I want to get it back I again have to remove this question mark by just clicking the backspace and if I hit OK now the duration is being specified. So guys this was all about milestone and estimated tasks.